of it. So would you say that songwriting was therapeutic for you in terms of expressing yourself? In- yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, because I'll say that love, like, oftentimes I think people will tend to typecast soul music and R&B as somewhat like meaningless love music or whatever but i don't know i think coming from you especially the way you sing um there's such a gentle yeah Mm -hmm. yeah it's comforting almost right yeah and it's such a gentle normally gentle singers are are like uh like high like Mm -hmm. falsetto stylistics uh, smoky stylistics Mm -hmm. and so it's it's very rare to hear a baritone voice or a tenor, mm-hmm. I mean, a mm-hmm. baritone voice that's that gentle and that sort of thing. Well, that's nice, man. I appreciate well, it. Well, no, I'm, 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 <laughs> no, just re- I, I really I'm reflecting do. to you what you, <laughs> I'm only showing you what you what you are. But yeah, like in 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 the 60s and 70s, when most uh, lead black singers were high falsetto mm. high voices whatever <laughs> uh, for you was that was that ever an option like to figure out because sometimes like ronald isley will go between his high voice and his low voice but for you was there no ever i t- never thought of that oh okay i was gonna be the the singer the singer all right yeah the approachable everyday guy yeah. okay i get that and uh, that's what he really was approachable that's a that's a good term yeah. approachable I see that. Yeah, he was approachable. Um, could you? What? 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 What do you? What, what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? Honey? No, I was. You know what I was just thinking? I was like, yeah, because we. I was thinking about awards, and I was thinking about like these Grammys and these all these awards, and I was like, from, to my recollection, you guys don't have a lot of those, but the acceptance of you in the community, and I've seen you speak about this before, mm-hmm. far exceeds. So that everyday manism that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. It's worth so much more, it looks yes. like, than yeah. the untouchable mm. of it all. Mm. Right? Yeah. Our people really supported us. Yeah. yeah. Even from a young stage, too. As much as we could, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Now, I've uh, I've been to, um, I've had the privilege of attending uh, one of your shows. You came to my hometown, at uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. This was, this was some years back, and y'all mm. played this amphitheater. It was outside. And... I mean, you came out and it was full of people, and they sang every word. Like they sang every word. I was like, if Frankie want to chill tonight, he ain't got to sing. Like we gonna sing for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. But um, I, I think you know, speaking of what Laie was saying, just you know, I, I just want to make sure that we communicate to you today. You know, you were just a staple in our households. You know what I'm saying? Like your music wow. was like you. always there, and it was, and it was oftentimes too. It wasn't just your music was there, but your music was the soundtrack to some of the best times of our lives. Like you mm. always associated, I always associated Frankie Beverly and Mays with good times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like what you were saying about him singing with love, um, we need love to live. That was like one of my favorite wow. songs. Like I would always play that. I even cut a very long time ago. I yeah, sampled I it. I was like, wow. I sampled <laughs> it and rapped over it. It did not come out. I was saving that. <laughs> I was 16. It was, Yo. never mind. <laughs> right, right. Shine, uh, golden time of the day. The oh, shining part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the original music the clones? Oh my God! If you can ever match it, <laughs> wow! But we couldn't make the loop work, and so yeah, then yeah. we start all over again. But go ahead. Yeah, but uh, but no, um, no, uh, you. It was just always a spirit that came through in your music, and um, just really spoke, just to all of us, and just made us all feel really good. And um, you know, I, I've seen it. Just the magic of you performing and people. You know, it's like you're a family member. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> like what it up. is. That's what that's it is. That's so beautiful, that's you guys. Is. You guys are going to make me start crying. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is called the Frankie Beverly Takes His Flowers today. <laughs> no, straight up, straight up. That's what straight it up. is. Yeah. 